you guys are bubbling along nicely uh, before those guys arrive, so how much will they strengthen you up and give you a real crack at the title now? Uh, yeah, look, you know, we've got two, two quality players coming into the squad. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to see how they gel with the rest of the guys, but um, so far, you know, the last few months we've been doing quite well, um, and we've got, to, we've got to keep going forward. Um, so, yeah, bringing two guys in like that, with that calibre, it's definitely going to strengthen the squad, so. Do you think they'll both start this weekend, or? Ah, uh, look, at the end of the day, we'll see how they go tonight, see how they go Thursday, we'll, we'll have the three sessions this week, um, and we'll make a decision, you know, closer to, to game day. The international is an interesting one. Um, you've been doing it for a while by the sound of it, but it's taken a, a little while for it to all happen. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah we, look, we've been talking to Guy for, for a couple of years now. The, obviously, the process is a long process, um, and we, we've finally got him here. So, you know, if it's for a limited time, it's a limited time. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, he's here for, for now, and, and we'll see how we go with him. But, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing him on the park tonight, actually. How limited is limited could potentially be? Uh, we'll get through the rest of the season. Um, no, if things go well, we might look at next year, but um, at the moment we'll go through the rest of the season. How good is he? Like, can you give us an idea? Like, he's obviously played at a high level. Uh, yeah, I mean, he played at the top level in Malaysia. Um, you know, the footage and stuff that we've seen, um, games was not, not necessarily highlight packages, they were more basically live games that we, we focused on. Um, you know, he, he looked like a quality player, um, and the feedback we got from the guys in Malaysia was pretty good. So, Why do you discuss and start? surrounding him like 17 months ago. Why him? Why him? Um, I, I suppose I've got some contacts in different parts of the world. Same with you know, Russell Courtney a couple of years ago last year um, and, and the guys in Malaysia um, through my travels. So um, it sort of yeah, it stemmed from that, my contacts over there. Um, and he was the name that came up. All right, welcome to Tasmania. Uh, are you pleased to be here? Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> 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 How did you uh, end up being here playing with the Zebras? It was uh, normally supposed to be here a long time ago, but uh, with the visa procedure was very difficult. But finally, we, we make it with uh, Romeo, with Mr. Nick, and uh, Zai, the one who is in Malaysia. And uh, I'm very happy to be here. Good. Sorry, can you tell us what sort of player you are? Sorry? What sort of player are you? What, what, what's your best position? Uh, midfield, I can play midfield defender, I can play uh, central defender, I sleep in, yeah. But I prefer playing midfield defender. And you played um, a fair bit internationally, tell us some of the clubs and countries you played in. Sorry? Tell us some of the clubs and the countries you played in around the world. Yeah, I played in Greece. And uh, recently in Malaysia, this country of the Greece in Malaysia, I spent six years in Greece. Uh, what do you hope to achieve? Do you want to play at a higher level in Australia than here in Tasmania? Is that your aim? Um, how, how, how to say my decision to come here it was not uh, regarding the level. I just come because uh, I'm looking for a new challenge, uh, something new. Do you think you uh, you can help Zebras win the title this year? I will try my best, I will try my best. I think uh, uh, football is not easy game, you know, we need to, uh, how to say, with the, with the other player to, uh, to work hard together and uh, I hope working together we can do something, something better. You're looking forward to meeting your new teammates. You've met a few already, I guess, but the, the rest of the squad? Yeah, I think today will be my first training. And, uh, you know, I need to adapt. You know, also the weather is different because I'm coming to Malaysia, it's too, it's too hot. So I need to adapt. Place to be here. Yeah, it's nice. It's good to be back. Uh, five years, five years. So it's, um, it's, it's all a bit different. To take the pitch outside and everything else. But. Yeah, it's good. You take the hint of an accent there you picked up. Yeah, it's uh, it's what everyone sort of said. It's it's uh, they call me accent, but I'm trying my best to get with it. <laughs> um, was it zebras you played with before? You were? Uh, it was. So it was ten years ago. Um, I started there with the under 18s um, and sort of went through into the reserves and then the first team, and that was ten years ago now. Yeah. 
So it was the logical choice to come back. Um, I don't know. It's, it's tazzy, isn't it? So you know, you know everyone from a club. Um, but I was back here at the start of the month, um, and I was sort of out on the town, and I bumped into Josh Thorpe, who I played football with at a club ten years ago, and it was just nice to have a chat with him and sort of reminisce, and you talk and you have a laugh and. You take the mic, um, and yeah, I, I, just, I decided I was going to move back. Uh, thought this would be a good club to come back to, and got in touch with Chris, and and we're sitting here now. And what sort of standard have you been playing at over there? Um, it's it's hard to compare it to here. Um, it's just totally different. Um, there's just so many football clubs, so many players, so many managers that it's cutthroat. So whereas here, I think obviously with no relegation, things like that. Uh, if clubs finish last, you know, what do you do? But um, the difference is, I suppose it's more competitive. You've got a lot, a lot of people trying to nick your shirt. You've got a lot, a lot of managers going to lose their job if they're losing five or six games in a row. Uh, and other than that, it's you know, the weather and the pitches, the climate. But at the end of the day, it's the team scores the most amount of goals, wins, and, and other than that, it's 11, 11 v 11. Why have you chosen to, to move home? Um, it had been five years, I sort of finished my trade, uh, work was a bit slow, and, uh, and my mum was giving me some grief, so uh, yeah, it's nice to come home and, and see him and be around the dad and grandparents and everything else like that.